Hello, welcome to Valve Channel. I'm Stephen. Last video, we already talked about the relationship between auto structure and the temperature. We already understand if we heat the steel from low temperature to high temperature environment, the auto structure will change. If we heat the steel to like 1000 or 1200 environment temperature, so the all auto structure will totally change to auto nitre. So auto nitre are very important auto structure in quenching process. Quenching is one kind of process in metal heat treatment. The function is we were using quenching process to make the metal much harder than before. For example, this steel bar. So we will heat this steel bar to 1100 Celsius degree that equal 2012 Fahrenheit degree. So the steel bar inside the autumn structure will totally change to auto nitre. And then we immediately cooling this steel bar in a water gate. Here is a water gate. So the steel will immediately cooling down. And also the auto structure will change it from auto nitre to another kind of auto structure which is called a mutton zyter. So mutton zyter are actually very harder than the auto nitre auto structure. So the reason why we need to heat the material to an auto nitre and then going to quenching the steel. So that is the question we are talking about in this video. To understand why quenching can make carbon steel getting stronger, first we need to understand what kind of chemical element will make carbon steel getting harder. So carbon steel contain the carbon and iron. So we have low carbon steel, medium carbon steel, high carbon steel. And the principle is if one kind of steel contain more carbon, this kind of steel maybe will get more harder. Why I said maybe getting more harder? Because if one kind of steel just contain a lot of carbon inside that are not enough for this carbon steel getting harder, we still need to do one more process which is going to mix carbon atom and iron atom together to make a new kind of atom structure. That kind of atom structure called a mutton zyter. So mutton zyter are coming from auto nitre. So how quenching process change the atom structure from auto nitre to mutton zyter? So let's find the answer. Here is a carbon steel phase diagram. We already understand that if we heat one kind of carbon steel from low temperature to high temperature environment, the carbon steel inside the auto structure will change from freighter to auto nitre. And the reason why we need quenching the carbon steel in auto nitre carbon structure condition. So let's find the answer in the auto structure diagram. Here is auto structure diagram. The left one is freighter, the right one is auto nitre. The reason why we want quenching the material in the auto nitre condition, actually the answer are very simple. Because freighter auto structure qubit are much smaller than the auto nitre auto structure. So if we heat the material to an auto nitre auto structure condition, this kind of qubit can contain much more carbon than this one. So just like this two box here. This box is bigger than this box. So this big box can contain more carbon inside the ferron auto structure. And then we immediately cooling this material. So this kind of auto structure can contain more carbon inside. So the material will get more harder than before. So that is the principle why we need to quench the material in the auto nitre condition. Now we already understand why we want quenching the material in the auto nitre auto structure condition. Just like this description said, water quenching from the temperature above the alternatic temperature will result in carbon getting trapped inside the alternatic less. This leads to the harder and brittle martensitic stage. So that principle actually are very simple. We just want to trap more carbon inside the auto structure. So that is for today. I hope you like it. See you next video. Bye-bye.